Okay, I was going to do a big unboxing reveal for these decks, but they're leaving my collection. So I wanted to show you what I'm getting rid of this week. These are mainly Kickstarters or indie decks, and one of them is a marketed one, which you can get from Big W. The first one is the Tarot Cards of Modern Goddess. You know, fantastic book, not box, outstanding box. It's brilliant. You know, you've got so much cushioning and boxes in this. It's a box and a box and a box. The deck itself, I just don't vibe with. It's very personified. Um, if you look at the guidebook, it talks about, for instance, let's just get one here. So you've got the tower card, and you look at the tower card, the way they describe it and they talk about it, and they talk about it as Goddess Carly. Now, if you're into personifying your decks and talking about decks in this way, this will so suit you. You know, like it really gives the card personality. For instance, the devil here. I think this is Madonna, isn't it? Uh, Madonna. So, yeah, it, it's good. But I just, I, you know, I've done a few readings with it. I use this live, as you guys know, I go live all the time. And I just didn't vibe with it. You know, I just didn't get the readings as deep as I'd like. So, this is the deck here. I do actually like the way they describe the Wheel of Fortune. I like that. You know, she's got the. Um, the scissors here and she's cutting off the disconnection or disconnecting what's not serving here very high gloss another thing that i'm not a fan of with the deck because when i shuffle this deck you know i'm doing road leap doing live readings i try to make them as quick as i can they just slid all over the place so that's why i'm getting rid of this deck so it is a good deck it'll be in the secondhand australian facebook group but i didn't i didn't vibe with it you know like i'm not saying that doesn't fit everybody else but for me it just didn't fit the way i read and maybe I might come back to, you know, sometimes your gift and your appreciation of decks changes. So I may change that. I may come back to it. So that's one deck I'm getting rid of. The other deck that I'm getting rid of, for no reason, but it is Kickstarter. This is a beautiful deck. And I mean stunning. It is well thought out. It is well laid out. The book is wonderful. The artistry is wonderful. But I'm decluttering my decks and I'm not a collector. I am not a tarot collector. I am a tarot reader big difference you know so i don't want to have you know a beautiful deck that's sitting in a cupboard somewhere not being used i feel like i can breathe now now that i've cleared out my decks but this is a beautiful deck if, if you come across this deck it is stunning you may have seen me use it live for a few times there's one second there we're gonna get it out of this but look at the artistry here you know you've got a scroll here it's all got this scroll the cards themselves would have to be one of the best printing decks that I've had. It's like a smooth satin finish. Now, it's such a difference. We just looked at the Modern Goddess about how shiny. This one isn't. If you look really close, there's like little so like little X's there, see? And it just adds to the finish of the card. Stunning. Look at this. You've got the intro card there. Beautiful deck. Beautiful. But I don't want to wreck it. You know, I want to use my decks. I don't want to have them in a cupboard. And I feel that, you know, this deck wasn't cheap, obviously, because this Kickstarter, you know, you're helping someone bring their gift or bring their art to life. But for me, I just feel like I would rather rehome this, allow somebody else to have it on their shelf <laughs> than myself. And as I said, I feel like I can breathe now. Now that I've got rid of lots and lots of decks, I feel like my collection is sort of zoomed in a bit more and I've got more appreciation of what I'm utilizing. And hopefully my deck will grow, my um, gift will grow. Look at this, the tower card isn't it stunning just now i have to show you the book itself that goes with this deck that's the sun that's the cover so it's just beautiful with the book and there is summer winter autumn spring and you've got the day before and i think the day after maybe no i think it's just the day before so you've got a few extra bonus cards here as i said well thought out it has old ancient poetry in here look it's stunning look at this it's like ancient chinese artistry So I wouldn't, you know, if I didn't have a lot of decks and I'd be quite comfortable utilising a deck, this would be one I would definitely utilise. This, I'll put that aside. We'll read that one from the book, hey? That's got a really nice take in the book. Look at that, the three winner look. You can just see, like, and I really like cards of this size. They're easy to shuffle. They're easy to manage. It's a nice deck. It's funny with the decks that I'm showing, they're very different. The ones that I'm showing to get rid of, each and every one is so, so unique. So the next couple that I'll be showing, the next three, isn't this beautiful? The next three decks I'll be showing is, they were all Kickstarters. You can even hear that noise, like that noise. It's like, it'll be interesting to see how my collection ends up. Most of them are mass market. I don't think I've kept any Kickstarters. I don't think I've kept any Indie decks. 
beautiful look. So definitely one, you know, if you are a collector, don't go past not looking at this deck. It's beautiful, but look at the booklet. It's well presented. It's nice. It's got like a nice... I never understood why people on videos would talk about, oh, this feels like velvet. But the more you dive deeper into the decks, the more that you are, you know, like you very do, you very touch and feel and, and everything. So let's look at the Ace of Winter. So you've got the Ace of Winter. So look at this. You've got a full colour page. I love that. And it says here, through the cracks in the door, the wind... The winter whirlwind whistled sharp as a spear. Matsu Basho. Keywords, new ideas, creative thinking, assertiveness, intellectual energy. That's very clever. So that is the Tower Tarot of Japanese Poetry. Obviously, this is 87 cards, so. Hmm. Oh, that's right, yeah, because we've got the extra ones. So with the way that this is set up with the 87 cards, you obviously have the major and then you've got the minors and they've given you an extra card. Plus you've got Knave of Spring, Princess of Spring. So you've got another two extra cards. So that is the tarot of Japanese poetry. And then I've got this one. This was the first release of the Dream Vision Tarot. This is one of the early Kickstarters that I bought. Nice, there is no booklet for this, and I made a huge mistake with that for me. And it was, you know, it was a good mistake because I realized how much I do like looking at guidebooks, how much I enjoy knowing why the artist has depicted a card a certain way. I think she did provide a PDF with this, but you can just see, look, the cards are splitting here. And I don't want, I don't want that with the deck, you know, I, I don't want my cards to be like that from the amount that I've paid. And also, too, what really turned me off with this deck was we had to wait a long time for it, but. Then she hits me up for more with the postage, and, and that just really put a bad taste in my mouth, you know? Especially when it was calculated at the beginning. So don't really vibe with that one, and I think because of that reason. Okay, and then we've got one of my favourite ones. Yes, I'm getting rid of the Art of Adventure Tarot. Ah, this brought me so much joy. It helped me read tarot so much, dive deep into tarot. Oh, no, I just meant the card oopsies. See, this is why I don't want... <laughs> This is why I only want multi-level magazines. And look at the book. Look what I've done to the book. Look, it's like a dog's dinner. But this book has helped me so much. It, it, it really taught me that simple is the key. Keywords are the key. You don't need all the fluff. So this deck here, you know, I'm saying goodbye to it. So this is one of my first decks that I got different colour. But yeah, I love this. I will put up on... I have gone through these. I have flicked through the, the, the deck. One thing about this deck, like for instance, when I read this one, I got that the lady was moving, I got that she was moving, I got that she wasn't happy where she is, she was living with her mother-in-law, you know, all of this just from the map, so yeah, it's giving me a lot of joy reading with this deck. I hope someone else enjoys it, you know, grows with it. I'm just trying to find the Ace of Wands, I think it was. That's another reading that I can just remember at the top of my head. It's a funny reading. So you can see nice, bright, colourful. Yeah, I got, I got a lot of enjoyment out of this deck, a lot of growth. And when I read this one, I always thought of Crocodile Dundee type of feeling. TikTok doesn't like you reading with this deck because it has a bit of nudity with one of the cards, with the sun card. Look, the little butt does not like that at all, which is so silly. Okay, and then just one reading that I can think of with the Ace of Wands when I looked at this. I went, oh, you're looking for a new beauty, new nail or hair. And she goes, actually, I am. And I really zoned in. It's a little clack crack on the nail and that's why sometimes cards don't necessarily mean the meaning sometimes there's something in the image that gives away the, the intuitive hit with the reading so that was an interesting reading so i'm getting rid of that one i'm gonna miss that one but it's time to go you know time to ease my collection time to work on objects dig deep work through them and hopefully have tatted up books and cards so somebody else can love them but the book itself really did help me really grow my and appreciate tarot and then lastly what i'm getting rid of this week now, looking at this deck, the out of hand, oh gosh, it's hard to get rid of this one. Look, actually, it's hard to get rid of all of them except this one. This one can go. Um, the box, the printing, I think she's stopping printing. So if you get your hands on this deck, you're very, very lucky. Again, she wasn't going to provide the white book for this deck. 
And I'm so glad she did because again, it gave me a deeper appreciation with the tarot. And I think it's nice having, now that I'm thinking about it and talking it out loud, it is nice having different decks because you grow and you learn through the use of using the cards, reading with the cards, reading others, but also the guidebook. Now the guidebook, the way she set it up was she spoke about the cards, so she's put the keywords there, but she also talks about the drawing notes, why she drew the card the way she did. And then she has a little Easter egg. So if we just look at this card, for instance, the little Easter eggs here would be the feather. Uh, it would be... I'm trying to think of the, oh, the card itself. You've got everything, all the tools. So here, for instance, you've got the sword. So, you know, you've got everything, all the tools here. And she's put the little Easter eggs here. So it's what would come from the original deck. So that's what she meant from that. So lovely deck, well printed, matte finish. I've done a flick through of this deck. It's just lovely. You know, It's a, I, I like the take of the way she did this card. You know, she wanted the emperor to sort of keep you in line, keep you in check. You know, like you've signed a document. You know, is this your signature keeping you accountable? So really, really clever. She knows tarot. She hasn't just put this together for the sake of putting it together. She's put it together simply because the love and the love for artistry. So I really enjoyed that. It's all hands, by the way. So it's obviously, well, that's why it's called out of hand. But that's a really, really nice deck. And you would have seen me use it. Not a lot because I didn't really want to shuffle and damage this deck. So... That's the out of hand tarot. So these are the ones that I'm getting rid of this week. Let me know if you'd be interested in any of these. Um, I'll put the links. If I've done any reviews on these, I'll put the links in the description box so you can have a look. But until next time, I hope that you continue. I'll be back live soon getting readings.